Hey, my name is Matt Johnson, and if you make videos, you need to make sure that you have your videos backed up to at least three locations two local and one off-site, because hard drives can fail, files can be lost, and I do not want that to happen to you. I recently made a video covering my super simple and easy to use backup system for on-site backups, including how many hard drives you should buy and how you should set them up for backups. And while it's great to have your files backed up in your home or office, that is only one piece of the backup puzzle, because what if disaster strikes and your house burns down, or someone breaks in and steals your computer with all of your hard drives? What do you do then? This is where having an off-site backup and storing your files online where they will always be accessible is so important. And if this sounds familiar, way back in 2018, I made a video showing the best places to back up your videos online. So why am I making this video again? Well, at the end of that video, I concluded that one of the best places to back up your videos, if you can afford it, was G Suite, which was Google's all-in-one productivity tool that also happened to offer unlimited online storage. Unfortunately, though, Google, as they usually do, decided to get rid of something, and they changed the name of G Suite to Google Workspace, and in the process, also removed unlimited storage, unless you sign up for one of their enterprise plans, which are much more expensive. This means that now, if you sign up for the business plan that I recommend in the past, you only get five terabytes of storage instead of unlimited. That sucks. So you can think of this video as an update with new services that I recommend for online backups. These services offer unlimited storage of your files, meaning they can handle even your massive 4K, 6K, or 8K video files. And as an aside, for the sake of ethics, I want you to know that this video isn't paid or sponsored by any of these companies. None of them even know that I'm making this video, but at the time of making it, I am an affiliate for Backblaze. So if you sign up for them using my link in the description, I may make a commission. All right, on to the services. And as I just hinted, first, if you are on a budget and need a quick and very affordable option for backing up a ton of footage online, just like in 2018, my main recommendation for you is going to be Backblaze. It only costs seven bucks per month and you get unlimited storage of any and all of your files. Dang, what a deal, right? There's gotta be a catch though. Yes, there's a catch and the catch is that Backblaze ideally always wants you to have your hard drives that you want to have backed up always connected to your computer. Now, I realize that sounds pretty ridiculous, especially if you have a ton of external hard drives. So Backblaze does give you a grace period of 30 days, which basically means that if you have a lot of hard drives backed up, you need to make sure that they're plugged into your computer at least once every 30 days, so Backblaze can register that you still have the files on your hard drives and will keep them backed up. This can be a bit of a pain, but if you're backing up using large external hard drives, which I recommend if you watch my on-site backups video, this should still be pretty easy, especially if you're just getting started and don't have a ton of files. But what if you have a ton of files? What if you're like me and you have terabytes on terabytes of footage and you're looking for a way to store these files online as a backup in case you ever need access to them? In that case, my second recommendation for you is going to be Dropbox Business Advanced. Coming in at $20 per month per user, that doesn't sound so bad for unlimited backups, but read the fine print and you'll see that if you want truly unlimited storage with Dropbox, you're going to need to make sure that you have at least three users, meaning that you're gonna be paying 60 bucks per month. I realize this is a lot of money, especially whenever you compare it to the very affordable price from Backblaze. But as I said, if you're someone that needs to store terabytes on terabytes of files and you do not want to deal with the hassle of plugging in external hard drives, I think the Dropbox is completely worth it. As a plus, you can also use it as a file delivery system for clients as well, so it's really quite versatile. And Dropbox has some really nice features, including Smart Sync, that lets you access your Dropbox files on demand. Meaning that while you have all of your files and folders visible on your computer, 
they're not actually taking up any space on your hard drive and are instead stored online in Dropbox. Whenever you click on one of your files to open, it will then be downloaded on demand from Dropbox. So for me, I only have a two terabyte hard drive that I keep my Dropbox files on, but my Dropbox actually has something like 10 terabytes of storage in the cloud. I can access those files whenever I need to from my hard drive, but they aren't taking up any space. I love it. And with that, those are the two online backup services that I recommend for storing your files. If you're a filmmaker or photographer or really anyone that has a computer, you really need to be backing up your files. So if you have not watched my on-site backups video, please do that. And if you aren't using an online backup service as well, I highly recommend starting. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. It would also be a huge help to me if you would consider liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more videos about filmmaking and editing in the future. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.